week, Lab TV travels to Waldorf, Maryland, where 400 students are gathered for the final day of the Save the Bay Robotics Challenge. For 16 weeks, the kids have been working on these robotics, as well as the different research topics that they've been working on, because this year the topic was the Chesapeake Save the Bay. This program combines environmental science with robotics technology. It starts with teaching kids to design, build, and program robots. The robotics is something that gains the kids' interest. It's something they can get very excited about and you can build passion. And then from there you can essentially use the robotics to create a theme where they can you know, investigate different ideas. In 17 schools across Southern Maryland, Dr. Gamash and other Navy scientists and engineers share their experience and enthusiasm. Being a mentor is great. The kids are, are, are wonderful. You can inspire them and, uh, and hopefully influence them to have fun and, and, and guide them possibly in a career. It doesn't take long for the students to learn how to build and control their own robots. Oh my God. The builders actually had to work very closely with the programmers and we, I built this huge overly complicated claw and it, we had a whole bunch of trouble with that. And, it was uh, fun. Yeah, we ended, it ended up working perfectly. Eventually we learned what we were doing, how to program, how to build and just Yeah, at, like, at first I didn't like it like at all and then like three weeks later I completely loved it. The robotics challenge is combined with an environmental science challenge. This year, the theme is the Chesapeake Bay. We're near uh, a watershed that actually feeds into the Chesapeake Bay, and so the kids can do some direct experiments and understand both the damages and solutions to the Chesapeake Bay. Biologists take students on field trips so they can study the bay up close. They also visit classrooms to teach the kids about marine life and conduct experiments. For the school system, it's very important because they have these certain requirements they need to teach each year, and one of those, and a big one, is the environmental program. And in the environmental program, the Chesapeake Bay just fits everything beautifully. Well, we've been learning about the bay, we've been learning what issues it has, and we've been trying to solve it and help the bay. In the seventh grade, pick topics related to anything they wanted. So they were actually funded $50, and they were allowed to do their own independent research. We've been researching on um, invasive species and how they are coming into our bay and just like taking over all of our native species. The research project is over harvesting in the Chesapeake Bay. Construction sites and their negative impact on the Chesapeake Bay watershed. They're one of the main factors in soil erosion and runoff, so we thought it would be interesting to um, do research on that. Today, all their hard work pays off as the students gather to present their research projects and compete in the robotics and teamwork challenges. I'm very interested in getting the, uh, the kids involved with science and engineering because I'm very passionate about it and I think it's been a good life for me and a very good um, career. I like, I like this kind of stuff, like the robotics and the STEM program. We're like really looking at science more and seeing the different things we can do and what we might want to do when we grow up, if we want to go into engineering or robotics. That's it. <laughs> to find out more about the National Defense Education Program, check out labtvonline.org.